What's up, Zox fam? And we're back with some more weather and waves. Now, we have gone super, super, super deep into the combat, but I think it's time that we take a look at something else. And it's going to be characters, right? I know you guys have had a ton of questions about character investment, what is emphasized on characters, character stats, what are we going to be working on? And I want to get into some of those things in today's video. So that's what we're going to be taking a look at. So definitely make sure that you guys like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the exclusive content coming to the channel. But let's go ahead and get right into it. Now, the first thing is, guys, we're going to go into the Resonators tab, and this is where you're going to actually see your characters. Now, the important thing is, and I'm just kind of guide you guys through this uh, where you're going to be seeing your characters is typically going to be on the right handed side. So if we click here, you'll see we're able to swap to Yang Yang or uh, Jia Yuan or even the MC. Right now, an important thing to take into consideration when you're looking at your character uh, is you can see your character level. You can see their attribute as well as ascension and their base stat values right now these stat values are going to be the things that typically you'll see uh being affected via your ascensions um and it also again is showing you like your ascension value as well as the corresponding max cap of where your unit can be leveled right now if we click this little three dot right here uh, it's actually going to give you more info now you'll notice that you'll see things st like stamina limit crit rate crit damage resonance efficiency and a whole bunch of different damage bonuses, resistances, uh, and as well as a healing effect bonus. Now, the thing with this is that when we take down uh, and really scroll these down, uh, it's going to show you different little like wordings or things to give you an idea of what these values are. So, for example, when we're looking at crit rate, the chance of triggering a critical hit when dealing damage, then you look at crit damage, um, which is going to be the damage multiplier when dealing a critical hit. And then, resonance efficiency, which I definitely think is probably going to be a really important thing to Kate to take into consideration is that this is going to be increasing the amount of resonance liberation energy gained per use of punch, resonance skill, combat ability, and resonance energy. Now, another important factor to mention here is that there also are obviously other attributes. So you have physical damage that you have to be like aware of. Uh, you have glacio, you have fusion, conducto, obviously arrow, one of my favorites, spectra, havoc, and everything else is then going to fall into your resistances of those corresponding elements, right? So again, these are going to be some of the core things you're going to be typically looking at when trying to further your builds, whether you're trying to make your character more attribute specific, or if you're trying to make them say, I don't know, aim for more physical damage. It really all depends on what gear you potentially have on them. Now, the thing is as well, if we go to the Ascension button, usually you'll see one of two things here. You'll either see leveling or you'll see the ascension screen here now the thing is is that if you have the leveling which actually let's go back and look at the leveling real quick it'll be shown with upgrade and you'll see that there are going to be these resources here uh that will be a, a pill essentially it's like exp pills so you're going to be utilizing these to be able to take your character's values their base stat values up um and you'll see on the corresponding side so the left will show you your current values the right will show you the value is going to go up to uh, and then also it will show you a resource which i think this is a tracite coin um, or tracite coin uh, this is going to be how much it's going to be consuming and also how much you own and then of course when you're ready you just hit that upgrade button and it gives you the corresponding levels right now if we go back to Gian who is currently ready for ascension, it will show you the base stat or base attribute increase. Um, also, it will show you what your max level cap is going to be. And then if you click that three dot circle again, it'll also show you the values and where they're gonna actually be going. Now, on top of that, you have your ascension requirement, which is just essentially the ascension materials that you're gonna need. And the cool thing is, is that if you are trying to figure out where exactly you need to get these, if you click on each corresponding resource, it will have a origin button where if you hit that origin button, it will then tell you where you can obtain this. It has obviously here, you can obtain it from a challenge uh, and as well as exchanging it in a exchange shop, right? So that is going to be essentially that. Now, if we go back, 
and we take a look here at our next tab this is going to be for our weapons so let's get into the weapons a little bit now the thing is is that with the weapons what you're essentially getting is you're going to be able to see base stat values as well as a percentage value for attack now the other thing is too is that you're also going to notice that there's going to be a uh, special ability to the weapon itself um, and the cool thing is is that you're able to actually upgrade or rank up these different passives or abilities on these weapons if you have duplicate copies under the upgrade button right so if you see here um, this is going to be the first thing for ascension where you'll be able to take up the values of your stats and of course with you taking up the ascension it'll just essentially allow you to be able to power up this piece of equipment a lot more now if we go here to this next tab this is going to be for tuning which is going to allow you to take a reciprocating uh duplicate and bring the values up of whatever ability that weapon has so obviously if you're familiar with some other games that are open world like this one you probably have seen this and it is yes very similar right now if we go back outside of that you can also switch your weapon from here um, and you can compare looking at different values you can obviously see what character has which weapon on um, which again is just really really nice just to see that they have those little indications for you to be able to kind of cipher through things without like having a hassle of trying to gear your character right now the next tab and this is another important factor to gearing is going to be your echo now your echo is also going to be something that drastically can affect your uh stats right now the thing that's really important to take into consideration is your first slot is probably one of the most important slots because this is the slot where you'll have the echo that's going to be summonable now it's important that when you're looking at the echo that you keep in mind what exactly the echo is giving you right and that is usually typically shown and really i would say for their summon uh under the tonic right so the tonic is going to be the ability or the animation or skill that is going to happen when they are summoned uh now for example here it says uh it's a uh, with with uh with whoosh um so it says summon with wath to conduct inhale strikes each phase of inhaling dealing 72 percent of arrow damage while explosion deals two percent of arrow damage and then it says concerto energy 11 and cooldown is 13 seconds now at the base it's also going to show you the main stat value you'll also be getting so here we're getting 15 percent attack now obviously as you look at different um echoes it's going to be giving things like hp percent um you know resonance efficiency it's going to vary and this is where you're going to be having to do a lot of grinding because we can kill these on like the open field and you can essentially absorb or capture these um just day to day right now now, another important thing to take into consideration as well, guys, and I want to point this out, is that when you're looking at a level one, um, like Echo, for example, something called consonants is going to be locked. And these are going to be additional base stats or stats in general that you'll be able to give your character. So when you take a Echo to level five, you will be able to unlock the consonants, which will give you additional stat values to be able to power up your characters. So this is something, again, that ends up being a super, super important thing when you're talking about giving your character extra value uh now there's another component to this called tuning now i want to highlight this by actually let's see if we can just look at one of these characters here now tuning is going to be where you take the level up of the character but you'll also be able to when the character is max so if we go back to jiang's you'll be able to use a duplicate of a character to be able to randomly tune the character for different stats or effects, right? So if you have those corresponding character or echoes here, it would show here and then you would select it and you can do this as many times as your heart contends to do it. I mean, you just gotta make sure that you're aiming for the right stuff. So this again, ends up becoming a huge part of what you might be grinding for. So just wanted to kind of make sure that there was a clear understanding of what this is, right? Now, moving into some of the other components that I feel like are pretty important here you have your resonance chain now what exactly is the resonance chain doing the resonance chain is going to be using shards from characters which you can obtain via the gacha uh, the gacha which is through modulation um these are going to be things that is going to allow you to be able to take the values up of your characters uh different stats or abilities so for example increasing attack increasing hp uh arrow damage increase and then here for savior of the world number of winless cycles is increased by one so this can drastically change the 
performance of your character. And there is six sequences of this, right? So you have sequence one, two, you have three, four, five, and you have six, right? Um, and each thing is going to have its own respective stat increase into an ability change, right? Um, and as you go into each sequence, the uh, cost of those shards for the character will increase, right? So it's really, really important just to take these things into consideration. And that is where duplicates are going to primarily come into place when you're talking about that extra investment of your character. Now, with my progression so far, have I felt like I've needed that? I don't feel like the content's hard enough yet for me to really be able to determine that. And I think it's a little bit harder within the beta to also determine that because I don't think they're going to be hitting us with the hardest of the hardest content for that to really be uh, a showing, right? Um, but I will say so far, it is something that looks like it's pretty cool. And hopefully they implement more ways for you to be able to obtain these things free to play, especially once you already own the character. Now, again, we also have uh, here, these are going to be for your skills. So you are going to be able to skill up um, or enhance your skills. So here you'll see that there's going to be an upgrade button. And this is just for, um, again, my uh, lay down arms. Um, and if I go to clicking that upgrade button, you'll see that the first damage, second damage and third damage all the way to each hit will be increased now the thing is is that this is going to be a little bit more uh, mechanic heavy in terms of understanding the value and how many times your character or how they hit for example these things are going to be really important to see like what exactly is a value you're trying to you know increase um, and with these skill upgrades these are going to just essentially make the basic things that your character is doing their chain attack or um, their like hold down attack just do more damage and just be more effective so it's really, really simple. Um, it's just upgrading skills. Nothing too crazy there. Now, the very last tab here is actually going to be for just some of that, uh, I would say kind of like extra uh, lore, the voices, just for those that are really into or keen to their characters that they're you know aiming for, their favorite characters, understanding more lore or just being able to hear their voice every day if you just want to do that. I mean, that's entirely up to you. Um, but outside of that, that's going to be everything that's being shown with and the resonance screen now Outside of that, I did want to mention a couple of other things. Um, so with your team, your team capacity is going to be a max value of uh, three. Now, it's a couple of different things that I think is worth mentioning is concerto effects, okay? Now, I've mentioned concerto effects in other videos, but I think that here it actually is a little bit of a better demonstration of what exactly that is. Now, concerto effects are going to be effects that will be triggered based off of what units are partied or paired to together based off of their attributes right so for example if we go to let's, let's just make a random team here right so right now we're going to try to let's do a glacial unit temporary. and let's do a fusion unit All right, let's do this. now you'll see a concerto effect here that is now in play which is hot and cold concerto so this is when glacial and fusion units uh, will trigger a concerto effect which is called the bipolar ensemble and this effect will increase current resonators in battles resonance liberation damage by 40 percent for 12 seconds and the bonus will be removed if the resonator is switched so this again is just a really really good way for you to be able to tell what effects you have into play and really being able to learn those now there's a lot more that needs to go into obviously learning the ins and outs of these and what is more effective and what situation versus what bosses <laughs> but all in all and through and through you see that these different effects like for example if we go to my other team here you see that the concerto effect is arrow unison so it's arrow damage done by the whole team is increased for 12 seconds because the entire party if you look here is almost completely arrow so that's where you're getting that bonus effect from right so again this ends up being something that really makes up a huge component of your characters and just overall the investment so that's pretty much going to be that when we're looking at everything relevant to the character at least within this closed beta and like i mentioned before there are going to be some things that are subject to change so take some of these things with a grain of salt because again they could very well change right but let me know how you guys feel with this overall system like for me personally i'm really excited to really honestly dive more into the ecosystem to be able to see what i can make and really getting these things to kind of work and operate properly within different team compositions so let me know what you guys think guys i hope that you enjoyed this video that's gonna be that stay blessed stay charged up and i'll catch you guys in the next one